QuickBooks Pro Plus Desktop 2022 OneNote Presentation. Memorize Profit and Loss P&L Income Statement Reports. Let's get into it with Intuit's QuickBooks Pro Plus Desktop 2022. If you have access to OneNote, would like to follow along, icon, left-hand side, topic, introductions, 3100, print, save as PDF, and export to Excel profit and loss or income statement reports, part one. Also, take a look at the immersive reader tool, topic, introductions, also in the text area, same name, same number, but with transcripts, transcripts that can be translated into multiple languages, either listened to or read in them, same name and number as presentations as well, topic, introductions, giving an introduction to the topic, screenshots, links where applicable, accounting background to complement the presentations, noting the screenshots can be used to follow along with the presentations if you don't have access to the software at that time. Closing the icon on the left-hand side, we're going through the printing process. Similar process as we saw when we looked at the balance sheet reports, we're starting off with what we ended with at the balance sheet reports. Now adding the income statement reports, three options that we could have. We've got the folder that we saved the reports to, but then we'd have to then attach all of the attachments if we are sending by email to an email, which can be kind of tedious to the recipient. We could zip the folder, which is a little bit nicer having one attachment, or we can use the exporting to Excel to generate one PDF file, which we will go through both in this presentation and the following presentation, which another, which is another nice and fairly fancy way to send the information. Here's all the reports we had before for the balance sheet reports, and we're going to be adding to them. You can see there's a lot of reports, so we want to send them to our clients in as nice a way as possible and group them. One way is to have the grouping by number here so that they can at least open these attachments in the format that we think would be best for them. But it might be easier if we can get them all on one PDF file as well. So we're just going to go through all the reports that we have set up. We set them up in our memorized reports category. We put them under a special category of the memorized reports so that we can get to them more easily. And that's in the client month end reports. Now we're looking at the income statement reports, which are nice and numbered to make it nice and easy for us to generate them each month, print them out in whatever format we think best, organize them, send them to the client. So each one of them, we're going to first save them as a PDF file in this presentation. And then in the following, we'll do the Excel portion to do that fancy Excel trick. So we're just opening up the reports. Here's our statement, our income statement summary. We're saving that item, adding it then to our list of reports, which is getting quite long now, noting that there's a whole lot of reports we can generate even on a month by month basis with just variations of the balance sheet and income statement. We have the income statement by month. We're simply going to save that as a PDF by going to the print save as PDF or we could use the cute PDF printer, which I do recommend having some format of PDF printer. This is a free option you could search for online. That will allow us to save the report as well. Here's where it's going to be saving it to. We're going to need that report if we want to use Excel to save all these reports on one PDF file. So now we're just going to go straight through here and print the next income statement report, the comparative income statement, saving it as a PDF as well by going to the print, save as PDF, putting it into our folder. Next report, income statement, vertical analysis already has been created. We're simply going to save that once again to our uh, form or to our uh, folder. We're then going to the income statement by month. Once again, we're simply going to save that to our folder, the income statement by month using the same method. Here's the comparative income statement, printing it out, saving it to our folder. Then we have all of these items in our folder. Notice that we numbered them as well. So if we were to give this to someone as an attachment or a bunch of attachments, like 14 attachments, they can at least save them to a folder and have them organized in the way that we think would be best for them to open in. Or we can take this folder, rezip it by right clicking, clicking on the folder, sending it to a compressed or zipped folder, looking like this, allowing us to attach that to an email with one large attachment. Next time, we'll go through the process of creating one PDF file with all 14 reports in it by using the exporting feature to the Excel and then the cute PDF printer to print it from Excel on one report. 
to get these on Excel, we could go to the export of the Excel up top to a new worksheet in the existing workbook. That's going to be our system next time.